This has to be the most asked question I receive under all of my videos, and that is how to create a consistent character within Midjourney. It is actually quite easy to create a consistent character in Midjourney and put it in different locations and give it different expressions. In this video, I will take you step by step on how to create your character, how to get different expressions, and how to put it in different locations. If you already have in your head what kind of character you want to use, just watch this part to see what kind of details I want to get from ChatGPT. So we are in ChatGPT and I want a male character that can be used in comics. So I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT, describe a male character in a comic book. ChatGPT always gives so much information, it's way too much than what we actually need. So we're gonna have to edit it a little bit to get the results that we really want. So here we have something for appearance, we have personality, abilities, background. So we get a lot of information. So if you are creating a book or something, then this is very good because you get all the information you ever wanted to have for your character. Okay, so we just got Wolverine <laughs> right here. And you see in the top Logan, also known as Wolverine. I can go for Wolverine but maybe we want a bit different character. So I'm gonna type for a new comic book to hopefully get some inspiration that's not a real character. Okay, here we got Dante. Dante is a tall, lean man. He has jet black hair that is styled in a messy, swept back look, piercing green eyes. So what we want to have is we want some description of how the person is looking, what the hair is looking like, if they have some scars or freckles. And we want some input about the clothes that they're wearing. So we're gonna have a bit similar clothes when we go to mid journey. I have Google Docs open right here. If you want to use Notepad or Word, whatever, that's all fine. So I'm just gonna copy the description that we have for the appearance. And we're gonna change it a little bit, smoothed it a bit around. And now we have men with messy black hair, swept back look, green eyes, sharp cheekbones, a strong jawline, small scar above his right eyebrow. He dresses in a black leather jacket with white t-shirt. So now we have the character description and we can start in mid journey. We will start creating our character for the first time. And we want an image that is full body and we want the close up of the face because we're gonna use those two pictures to create a base for our consistent character. The first prompt that we're gonna do is for the full body. And we do that by adding concept character, white background, then we paste in our prompt. And before the clothes, we add walking in a street. And in the end, we're gonna add dash dash AR916 to get the vertical image that we need for this. So this one is ready. And in the meantime, I want to tell you about two sources that you can check out. The first one is the YouTube channel Tokenized AI by Christian Heidorn. He has a six episode playlist in which he really goes into detail about character building, about facial expressions, about location settings, all this stuff. So my video is gonna make it short and sweet for you. But if after this you want really detailed instructions, you can check that out. And I also want to show the website how to leverage AI. It has a lot of good tips on using Midjourney and how you can create certain styles as mid-journey generators, and also has a text post that I learned from to create characters. The link to both of these places are in the description. So the first prompt is ready, and we didn't get the full body, but it's already really looking good. So you see that they are not super similar. Maybe these two are similar, but I feel like we are getting our character right now. So I'm gonna try another one and see if we can get the full body, but this is already a great start. So I tried it one last time to get the full body shot and that I did full body, concept art, white background, men with messy black hair, walking in the street. And now we got the result that we wanted. Here we have a full body shot of our person. And I think we're really getting our character right here. It really feels like we're getting a similar person already. And we also want a close up and we just do this by using the original prompt and adding close up face in the beginning and take out the walking in the street part. And the close-up is ready as well. And you see, they are getting pretty similar. I think this one in the bottom right is best for me. And then in the first image, I kind of got the medium body. I'm gonna select this one. So they are a bit similar. And what I do is I upskill. So this is number three, I'm gonna upskill number three. This is number four that I want. So we'll upskill number four. And then here we have the full body. And I'm gonna go for number one. I think this outfit blends all well together. So I'm gonna upscale number one as well. And after we get the upscaled images, we can use the links to those 
to create our perfect character in all places that you ever wanted to use it. Okay, the three images are upscaled and now we have to copy the image ID. You right click on the image and click copy image address. And I'm just gonna save them now in my Google Docs. So I have the first one and then comma, go for the close up, copy image address and then comma space and then the last one. So it's the full body, click on it, copy image address. And now we have the basis for our images. So I'm just gonna copy this, go back to mid journey and do slash imagine, paste in the links that we just copied and put in our original prompt but without concept, character, right background, all that stuff. Paste it right here. So now we have the images. And then in the back, we have our original prompt that we had in our Google Docs. And press enter. And now what it does is Midjourney uses these three images as examples for a new image. And now here, I feel like we really have our final character. So I will upscale one image to really use that one as base to put into new and different backgrounds. So I think it's hard because they're already looking so similar, all of them, but I'm gonna go for number four. So I will upscale number four. And while that one is upscaling, I'm gonna show you how you can get multiple poses and expressions. And we're just gonna copy the prompt that we did before. So the, with the three links and our original prompt, so slash imagine and this. So we have our three links. And then I'm gonna add concept, character, white background, multiple, poses and expressions. If we do this, we should get a lot of different poses and expressions that you can just cut out if you want and use in either a book or whatever reason you want to have a similar character. And now our multiple poses and expressions is ready. Let's take a look. And this is looking very good, right? I think this is looking very good. So we really got our, we really got our character that's looking similar on all different images. And we got it from all different angles that you can cut out and use however you want. And we already get such a consistent character and it's so easy to do. It's really fun to try out. And we have our final character now that we built from the three images. And what I'm gonna do with this one is go on the right to add reaction. And I look for envelope. And you click the little envelope. Now you get the message from mid journey on the top left and you get the seat number. So the seat number is what we're gonna need. You copy this and put it in your docs as well. And then what else we're gonna copy is go again to this image, copy image address and paste here. So now we have our final image. Now we have our final character image if you want to use that one. And now we're gonna start putting it in different situations wherever you want. So I'm gonna take this image. So now we can go to slash imagine I first paste in the image that I just copied. Then I'm gonna fill it in with our original prompt. So men with messy hair, all that stuff. And now in the end, I'm gonna add sitting in a coffee shop. Do AR69 this time to get a more spread out image. And what's very important is do dash dash seat. And we go back and copy the code that we had and press enter. So now in the back, we have dash dash seat and then the number of the seat from the image that we just created. And like this, we should get our character in a coffee house and you can keep switching it up. We can change locations. We can change stuff like that if we want a full body. So let's try out a couple more. So I'm just gonna copy this one that I just created. Now we have the prompt ready, so it's easier to do. So I'm gonna do slash imagine. And in the beginning, I'm gonna do full body shot wide angle not in a coffee shop this time but maybe sitting on hood of car okay and here we got the first result back from our man with messy hair is sitting in a coffee shop and now here we generated the image of well very consistent character i think this one really looks like the one that we have been creating with the jacket with the white t-shirt with the hair and it's so similar i think it's a really nice way to create your consistent character in different locations. So here we have sitting in the hood of a car. And that one again is the same person that we have, but it's hard because we don't really see the car. So you have to keep trying out a couple different things, situations, all that stuff to just get the image that is right for you. Here we have one more. So our original image standing in front of skyscraper. And 
yeah, it's looking very good. We have the background, we have our character standing there. So I think this is a really easy and fun way to play in mid journey and get exactly what you want. And you can also try mixing images together. So here I have sight of a skyscraper with sidewalk, digital art, AR 16 by nine. And here I have the prompt that I tried with the full body with standing in front of skyscraper. So I can copy this prompt slash imagine and then the prompt. And then I'm gonna have the original image. And from the new image that I generated separately, I'm also gonna copy the image address and I'm gonna put it inside the prompt. So now we have just the full body shot, wide angle, man with messy hair standing in front of a skyscraper. And if it works, we should kind of combine these two images and get our character really in the location that we want. So I think this one actually came out very well. So we have this original image. We have here our character. And when we put them together here, we get this image. And I really like it because you get the angles that they used in the original image and you get our character. I had a lot of fun making this video. Please let me know in the comments if you're gonna try it out and what kind of character you're gonna put in which place. I recently did a video on a lot of mid-journey prompts you have to try out. You can watch that here. And otherwise subscribe because I'll make a lot more AI content.